Hey boys, it's Harm Nine. Today we're going to be customizing the Declassy Lifeguard in Grand Theft Auto Online. Yes, you heard that right. We are customizing the Lifeguard. Now, if you guys haven't seen my other video on how to get a Declassy Lifeguard in Grand Theft Auto Online, you should go and check that out if you are interested in customizing one of these for yourselves. So we're going to hop into the lifeguard right now. And then as you guys can see, you're going to need an Avenger behind you. You might be able to do this in the MOC. I haven't actually tested it myself, but I would assume that you probably can because I don't see why not. Then you're going to simply drive this thing up to the Avenger and go inside. So to start off with, we're going to go all the way up on the armor. We're going to go all the way up on the brakes as well. We're going to go all the way up on the engine as well. Shocking, I know. For the headlights, we are going to go Xenon, of course. We could put a Neon kit on this vehicle, however, eh, I'm not really feeling it too much. For the plate, we are going to go yellow on black, of course. For the respray, we can add the crew emblem to the vehicle, however, I don't think that you're actually able to. It is locked right here, and I think that's because it's the Declassy lifeguard and they just don't want you to have the crew emblem on it. Next up, for the suspension, we can lower this thing down all the way if we so choose. I will do that just for this customization, why not? For the transmission, we can upgrade that all the way and the turbo as well for sure. Next up for the wheels, I think that I want to put some off-road style wheels on this thing, so we're going to go into the off-road tab and of course I'm going to go for the Concave Rally Master because they're my favorite rim, in the off-road category at least. For the wheel color, we are going to go black because I feel like it looks pretty sleek, I like the look of it. Bulletproof tires, we are going to add those onto the vehicle as well. And last but not least, we are going to add limo tint onto the vehicle. Let's take this thing outside and we're going to get into a little bit of a review on the Declassy Lifeguard. So the Declassy Lifeguard, we have officially customized this thing. It's time to see how it behaves now. The vehicle definitely does not feel like a regular Granger, I have to say that. The regular Granger definitely feels more all-wheel drive, if you will, whereas this thing feels a little bit more rear drive biased. Um, I'm sure that this thing still is all-wheel drive. In fact, let's actually test that right now because I am very curious to know. So we're just going to drive it up against the wall. Interesting. This is rear wheel drive only. That is super interesting. I do believe that the regular Granger is all-wheel drive. So the regular Granger, in theory, actually gets way better traction than the Declassy Lifeguard. However, of course, the regular Granger does not have access to the lights and the sirens. So that is really, really cool with this thing. And obviously, if you guys have seen how to get this, you will know that we have loss and theft prevention on this vehicle. I know I didn't show it in the Avenger, but if you guys go and check out my video on how to actually get one of these for yourselves, you will be able to see that I did, in fact, put those options on. And if you don't believe me, I'm actually going to take this thing to my garage right now just to show you guys that this is actually officially my personal vehicle. So I have a garage right here. We're going to go ahead and enter inside and you guys can see I'm driving right in and you will be able to see it in my garage as well. As you guys can see, I do in fact have a Declassy lifeguard in my garage. This is super, super cool guys. Now I'm wondering if Rockstar's actually messed this up with any other vehicles in the game, like police cars for example. Years and years ago there was a glitch in order to get the Granger police vehicle uh, from the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Uh, you used to be able to actually get that and put it in your garage, which was super, super tight. Um, and unfortunately Rockstar removed that from the game and this was like back in 2014 so it's been a long time but if Rockstar have somehow reintroduced one of these glitches that would be absolutely awesome honestly. Now of course the civilians when you drive past them with the lights and sirens on will actually pull over and stop their cars. A lot of people think that this isn't true but well in fact it is. You guys will be able to see this oracle has just randomly stopped and well it's not random it's because my lights and sirens are going of course. This Chevelle Fugitive is also going to just stop, as you guys can see. So this is really, really cool. Most cars will get right out of your way when you are driving a vehicle with lights and sirens, so it is kind of actually useful to have in some ways. Now, I do believe that this Declassy Lifeguard is actually faster than the regular Granger, at least it feels that way, and I would assume because it is rear-wheel drive only, they made it faster because it takes a little bit more skill to drive maybe. Whereas the regular Granger is of course all wheel drive, so it will get better traction for climbing mountains and stuff like that, I would assume at the very least. The Declassy Lifeguard, I mean, it's a pretty fun vehicle to drive, I'm not going to lie, you can actually kind of drift this thing, which is kind of nuts. Um, but it's actually pretty responsive, it handles really nicely as well, so really there's no complaints from me, this vehicle is absolutely awesome. 
I just wish that we could actually change the respray of it. If we can make this thing like black or like a dark blue or something like that and just kind of pretend that it's a cop car, that would be super, super tight. But unfortunately, I just don't think that that is in the cards for us right now, at least. Um, unless somebody finds out some sort of glitch in order to do that, I think we are stuck with the bright yellow to classy lifeguard. However, we still do get the function of the sirens and the lights to make people pull over and get out of our way. So that is kind of cool. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for the customization and review on the Declassy Lifeguard. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen my video on how to get one of these, go and check that out. I will post in the comments down below if this does get patched, so not to worry if you guys are watching this in the future. There should be a pinned comment if this has been patched. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then. Take care. Peace.